what's up guys alicia walls here and in this video this could be one of the most important videos that i've ever created here on my channel but let me jump on into the video anyway i was creating a design so that i can add it to my online store and my computer the battery died and i went back to photoshop and i was looking for my design and i could not find it this was definitely my fault as you can see right up here across the top there's a lot of untitled um files that i have and i tend to do that which i normally will save it but sometimes you get into the moment and you're creating stuff and then all of a sudden you have to get up and move and you forget to come back and save your document you just start back working on it whatever the case may be so i was looking through some things or whatever i did a couple of google searches and stuff like that and i could not figure out where the heck my file was located so i ran across this one ad that was you know kind of telling me to go to user library whatever blah 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 and I was like, where the heck is that? You know, I normally would know where those things are on my PC. But for this Mac, for whatever the odd reason, I could not locate it for anything. So this is how I end up finding it. I actually went to a YouTube video and the guy was giving like four different ways to find that library file. Because your library file, like on a uh, PC... The PC, you can pretty much go to, you know, the little folder that's at the bottom and you can search for anything on there, you know, all that stuff. But on the Mac, it's a little different. It's really confusing because they hide those folders because you really don't need them all the time, okay? So let me jump on into the video. I don't want it to be long, but I do want to show you guys how to locate it and to find your auto-saved files on any application that you're using, okay? Mainly for Photoshop. So what I had to do, um, as you can see at the top, anytime you click on a folder, it shows the information here. This is only for Photoshop, but what I want to do is I want to minimize Photoshop, and you really don't have to minimize it, but for this video to make it easier for you guys to find it, I minimized it. So I'm just going to come here and click anywhere on the desktop, and if you notice right here in the top left-hand corner, you will see a word pop up other than Photoshop. So Finder is what populates whenever you click on the desktop, and I do mean anywhere on the desktop. So what we're going to go to is we're going to go to the word go. Now, there are several different ways you can do it, but this is the most easiest way to find your library folder to recover any autosave files. Now, if you have not enabled autosave on your Photoshop, make sure you go to Photoshop Preferences. Let me click on them and show you where to go to Photoshop then you want to click on preferences and go to file handling and right in here where to say always save you want to make sure that that states always save and it's not never save you will always lose your stuff and ask when saving you don't want to do that just say always save because something may happen and you don't have the chance to go back and click on yes save the item the uh, file okay so right here you want to do automatically save recovery information every however many minutes you want to do it i'm gonna change mine to five because like i said hey it's it's something serious so this right here is what you want to do for that different versions of uh, photoshop there's different ways to do it but that's how you want to do that and click on okay okay now we're just going to click on this little blue area this is once again the desktop that we're clicking on we're not clicking on any of this and you will see the word finder here in the top left corner so we're just going to go and click on go and as you can see i already have library here but this is another way that you can find it you can click go and then you will have the word library and you click on library but if that is not there another way you can do you can come here you can click on go to folder and you want to type in this little asterisk and then a backslash in the word library and click on go so if that does not work guys what you want to do then you want to come here make sure that it is on the desktop i'm just going to minimize this we don't want to confuse anyone come here click on the desktop as long as you have the word finder once again because it did disappear when i clicked on my photoshop and stuff like that so you want to come here and click on go again now what you want to look for 
is the word home okay you want to just simply click on home and as you can see right here here is the word library now what i do to make sure that i never have to go back and searching for it again i just click on the folder and move it over to my favorites or you can pretty much move it you know where well no favorites is the only place that it'll go so i already have it over there for now so double click on library and what you're going to look for is application support okay double click on application support and like i said before if you're looking for adobe photoshop anything like that you can click on that photoshop we're going to double click on adobe the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look for adobe photoshop now i have as you can see an adobe photoshop 2021 and a 2022 i have an illustrator but we're only looking for photoshop in this case i was using photoshop 2021 so we're just going to double click on that and here's the photo that we're looking for the auto recover okay the auto recover is what we're looking for so we're going to double click on that and this is where you will find all of your um, files that you did not save before your computer shut down, before it crashed, if Photoshop just would not open back up. In my case, what happened was my Photoshop needed to be updated. So once it updated, guys, all of my recent documents will not populate most of the times if your photoshop ever shuts down you can come here and click on file and then you can click on open recent these are all of the files that i clicked on because i was trying to find those files but this is where it normally should be okay but in that case if it's not there it is definitely in your auto recovery folder and i've already told you guys the steps I hope this video helps if you have some documents guys or or designs that you've been working on or something that you just started but you couldn't remember the font whatever the case may be this is where those files are located guys okay and so from there all you have to do is just simply come here to any of those folders what I normally do I just get them out of here let me select all of these and I will put them on my desktop for the time being and once I put them on the desktop, all I have to do, and you can click on these in the auto save folder as well, but I just come here and I open up that file that I was looking for. And I'm going to say, no, I don't want to update anything. This is the file that I was looking for right here, guys. I had to create a uh, Tumblr design for someone and I could not find it. I couldn't remember what all that i added to this design or anything so i'm so so glad that i found this but this is how you guys would do it make sure you save it other than that guys thank you so much for watching make sure that you guys have, if you have not subscribed to my channel make sure that you do that and also make sure if you have any questions just comment down below and like this video guys and most importantly share with others that you know do uh, design work and things like that and you know something like this has possibly happened before okay thanks again for watching guys i'm out bye